Broken to Brave, episode 20, number 22. Volunteered to be a beta for fanfic. Someone posted that there was going to be an X-Files fan fiction writing challenge and they needed betas. I didn't actually know what a beta did, except that it seemed like it was some kind of editor. I love editing, so I figured that I would just put it out there that I was interested and learn as I went along. I can't quite explain how out of character that was for me. I won't even eat at a restaurant with knowing ahead of time what I'm ordering. I don't do anything without master's level research. Yet here I was going with the flow and willing to learn as I went along. This list was definitely having effects on me that I never expected. So I sent a message to the person coordinating the writing challenge offering to help Beta. She wrote me back and I realized that now I was really engaged. They didn't end up using me to help, but that wasn't the point. The fact that I volunteered and followed through with the sign up and responded to the messages instead of running away and or telling them that I had made a mistake and would actually be too busy to do it after offering was a big deal. That was my usual MO. I would panic and retreat if I even offered to begin with. This list was really breaking me out of my comfort zone. Even though I was in control, it felt the opposite. My heart and brain were working against my fear and ego, and my heart and brain were winning. Sometimes, bravery is sharing your gifts. Episodes of Broken to Brave are released every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for listening and for joining me on this journey of healing and growth. If you want to go deeper into the story and hear it from a spouse's perspective, my husband and I have a Patreon-only show where we have an extended, behind-the-scenes discussion of every episode, which also posts twice a week. Here's a sample of our latest Patreon-only companion podcast. We were having lunch. A sibling was in town, and so my um, my uh, my parents and your parents and... And all of us and Molly was was very little, maybe two at the time. And and we went to lunch with the sibling and she's one who used to have her friends call me all the time and ask me um, parenting advice. Parenting advice. Right. And I so, so I thought that was safe. Yeah. And and I said to her, well, I had this idea. I'm going to become a parenting coach. And she looked at me. In all seriousness, and she said, why would anyone listen to you? Yeah, and it wasn't – she didn't say it because I want to make sure people understand this. She didn't say it like somebody who's trying to give you clarity, like – like, give I mean me that, some ideas. Like, where, why what's would your somebody, niche? Like, why would they listen? Right. Tell like, me what you're going to put on your resume. Yeah. No, no. This was this was a, an attack. A gut. It was a punch in the solar plexus yeah. of what you bring nothing to the table. Exactly. It's different than let's She's talk like you about don't how have you're a degree. You don't have a degree. Yeah. You don't have this. I was like, I have 28 years of intense early childhood development yeah and i have a i have a certification i don't have a degree but i have a certification in the british nanny training in a two-year program i i have that and it's intense and i had to learn nutrition and child development and psychology i mean all that but on top of that far more valuable was my immense, immense amount of amount of of work with children right. in those ages. I mean, I died and 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 it was watching it sent you, you back so far. I still haven't done it. And she's 13 now. Yeah. You came across you saw it and you you saw it happening and it was like I was watching you and it was like one of those things where where people are running in slow motion. Yeah, you had one of those. And they can't get to you fast enough, and that's your face. Like, you were like, no, and trying to get there before because you knew, oh, my God, she told her. Yeah. And this person is going to destroy her. And it happened. And and so, oh, I mean. I forgot. That's that just I, one glimpse. I forgot glimpse. me being there. Yeah. I've heard the story so many times. I I know. But that yeah. is just one of a of a many 
that is just one of like one in in the drop of a bucket of of things people have said to right. me. And this was one where it should have been. This should safe. have been a no brainer because she sent me her friends you, all the time. Don't tell her. Don't tell any of them. Right. Because I. Already- to hear the rest of this episode and get other exclusives, become a patron to Broken to Brave at patreon.com. You can also follow my blog at brokentobrave.com for even more insights and engaging content. Links are in the show notes. Broken to Brave is a production of Southgate Media Group, hosted and written by me, Martha Southgate. Thank you so much for listening. Now go do something brave. <laughs>